All right, hey, it's me, the pepperoni jabroni. Let's go ahead, dive into this pizza. Uh, let's have a meal together. Let's eat. Who's hungry for pizza? Eating is the most important meal of the day. No, pizza is the most important meal of the day. You know what, maybe I can just stick with the oldies but the goodies. Let's jump right in. What's up, everybody? It's me, the Pepperoni Jabroni, and welcome back to The Deep Dish. This week, we're going old school. It's mostly just about the pizza. We're going to keep tweaking and messing with things, but to be honest, I just wanted to bring you an old-fashioned episode where we do old-fashioned pizza complaining. Now, before we get started, remember that if you like what we do here, one of the best things you can do is subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, right? That helps people find us in the algorithm. Also, don't forget that if you want to help me out personally, you can always go to patreon.com slash the deep dish review and help support pizza journalism. Is that what we're going to call it now? All right. First things first, Lewis the Funky Anchovy has got another segment this week called Pizza Bible Stories. Pizza Bible Stories. So, a long time ago, there were <gasps> Pizza Christ! All right, all right, all right. Pizza Christ, should we kick people off welfare? Well, what do you think? I hung out with 12 homeless fishermen and a prostitute. Point taken. Pizza Bible Stories! <laughs> All right, the Ten Commandments of Pizza. Presentation, cut, crust, nose, freshness, flavor explosion, mouthfeel. Finish, and would I eat this if I was high? Presentation. So this is Zupardi's a pizza. Zupardi's a pizza, not a problematic name at all. I'm sure the people who run it are Italian, but there's something a little bit like a little... As a person who's not Italian saying, a pizza feels a little weird. Okay, this is their margarita pizza. Mm -mm. This present... Well, that gives it a six. Let's move on to crust. This is a very thin crust. This is about half a finger. I don't know if you can see that. We all know how I like my crust on this channel. I like it three fingers deep, baby. So the thing is, is this is New Haven style pizza. Now, you might be saying, I didn't know there was a New Haven style pizza. Actually, neither did I. So we can all thank Ann Dewey Louie, my biggest fan or my biggest troll. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, the pizza, at least the crust, we got half a finger here. So it's already gonna get a low score, but I will say that like it's firm and it does seem bready in the middle, so I'm not gonna totally knock it. I think we're gonna land here at a, we're gonna give it a five. All right, next up, cut. Definitely done this one. Next up, nose. This is a pretty good, okay, I was, this is gonna get a pretty good nose. This, getting a lot of cheese and getting a lot of tomato. And I know what you're thinking, pep. It's all cheese and tomato, correct. Sometimes, I mean, I've had pizzas where like it was all cheese and tomato sauce and it smelled like a cardboard box. So, Zapardi's a pizza, New Haven style. I'm gonna give you an eight. 
I want to talk a little more about New Haven Town. So I, I have a complicated relationship with Connecticut. What's up, everybody? We had to cut that last section um, because we found out that uh, no one cares about New Haven style pizza. Google it. Or my opinions on Connecticut. We apologize. That's like my New Haven speech. Freshness. I made this, and then I had to have a long phone conversation with my very good friend Zach about um, a person who's sort of harassing me. Yeah, it kind of falls under harassment, and I got really mad, and then I had to take a minute to cool down, and in the time that I cooled down, my pizza cooled down. So, freshness gets a two. <laughs> Sorry, the party. All right, flavor explosion. This actually might not be too hard because it's not very big. This is one whole quarter of the pizza. No, it might be the fact that it's a margarita pizza, but this is amazing. One of the best vegetable pizzas I've had. I don't like the state of Connecticut. It's not a personal thing. And I don't really like the crust, but this is very flavorful. I like it. I'm going to give this a nine. <laughs> mouthfeel. Can we talk for a second? This is a great mouthfeel. And Dewey Louie is a, an extremist and kind of annoying and kind of a very frustrating individual who keeps sending me free pizza. But, 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 this was really good. The mouthfeel, crunchy and soft. I never get crunchy and soft. I will say this is thin crust done right. I don't like a floppy pizza. This pizza here. It's got the crunch, but it's got the softness. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm gonna give this a dark horse. Look at this photograph. Pizza Hut. This was really tasty. It doesn't remind me of Pizza Hut. It gets a car tire with a nail in it. Finish. The finish was actually very nice. It leaves, it's light, it leaves like a, it's like, it's like kind of like, again, it's a good finish. It's like dancing around in my mouth. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Is it Jet Li tap dancing with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? No. Does that bit exist on the internet? Couldn't find it anywhere. It is, however, kind of like a, uh, kind of like an old timey Broadway chorus number. No, I Everything is just kind of working together. All right, would I eat this if I was high? Oh, of course I would. I would eat three of these because they're so tiny, so little. They're like cute little puppies, and who wants to eat a puppy? I mean, if I'm high enough, maybe me. No, I take that back. No one wants to hear that. No. No. My point. I would eat too many of them, and so I give it a very large birthday cake. <laughs> All right, and that brings us to our final score, which is a 7.6. That's right, a 7.6. Definitely not a strawberry or a radish or a, maybe a beet or like a pink heart with hair because that's not even a number. That doesn't make any sense. All right, hey everybody, that's our show. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you like the show, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video, but most importantly, leave a comment in the comment section. It helps people find us in the algorithm. Also, if you like what we do and you really want to help me out personally, you can always go to patreon.com slash the deep dish review and you can sign up to become a patron there. We've got $5, $10, or $25 slots per month and you can help support the bringing of some of the most important pizza information to the world.
that there is to be brought. Remember, if you don't have anything to leave in the comments, you can always comment on my unpopular opinion, which is, wait, wait, don't tell me, is it very funny? It's just not that funny. Yeah, man, I said that. Right, and I feel bad for saying that, but that's just how I felt for years, and I've stuffed it down. All right, well, listen, thanks a bunch. I'm the Pepperoni Jabroni. It's okay to like things. And this has been The Deep Dish.